but who's in charge here? Well, she is, but we're both. I'm, I'm the manager. Estelle Valerie. Still, uh, once they leave, you lock the front and back doors, you understand me? How did you guys first discover the story of Brian Brownies and what did, what intrigued you about setting a film around his, his story and, and him as a character? When I first heard about Brian's story, I was overtaken by it. It, it pierced my soul. Uh, my dad's a veteran, so I was able to understand what he went through with the Veterans Affairs so much better through Brian's eyes. So I reached out to Kwame and said, hey, can we do this right? Can we do this honestly? Abby reached out to me and it was the integrity of the reporting around it in that article that we read and the integrity of, of Abby's intentions into mm -hmm. telling a story that was true, something that she had personal experience of, that, that made me want to, to, you know, down tools and just run with this. Obviously, casting was so essential, especially for the role of Brian. How did you guys know John Boyega would be so right for this role? He's a man of immense, immense talent and craft. And if you watch his work, it's clear he has a lot to give. And wow, did he give in this role. It's it's unmissable. It's a, it's a role that makes you laugh and cry in the same couple beats by the way that he is able to convey the heart of the man. He surpassed expectations for me. I've seen John do brilliant work, but this was a deeper cut than I have seen before. So I, it's really easy to pat oneself on the back and say, yeah, yeah, we knew it was John and John was going to be brilliant, but I didn't know he was going to be this good. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. This is Sergeant Bernard. Is everyone all right in there? As long as everybody stays calm, nobody gets hurt. I mean, John, how intense was this experience for you compared to, to anything else you've done, you know, to date? Well, definitely, once the cameras are rolling, it was definitely um, intense and continuous because it's based in one place. Um, gives you that same intensity that you get when you're doing more stage work, more theater work. And at the same time, I think the story itself kind of supports that intensity and in the fact that it's one man that comes into an environment and changes the energy of the environment. That in itself, it just all added up to, to make quite an intense experience. But I feel like while that intensity is going on, I, just, I felt like a, a freedom, like if, if I will call it, kind of like a, a free dance within just acting. You know, I hadn't felt that way since I'd been in drama school, you know. On day one, I was blown away by the work that John did and all the energy. Um, he came so prepared and also I think his turnaround was really um it was really fast it was really tight it made my job a lot easier especially when there are the turns with the characters when she starts to realize that like there's more going on with him and when she says you know I care about what your situation is he makes that really easy I've seen your performance called Denzelian as in the legend himself Denzel Washington. Do you, do you embrace this? Is, is Denzel a big influence on you? I'm not involved in that conversation, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, that's, if that's what they see, then, uh, you know, that's all blessing. Um, Denzel was one of, the, one of the best actors in the industry, so, if, and I just started out, so for me, I don't have, uh, I haven't got the time or the stripes to be able to even involve myself in such a conversation. <laughs> yes, but you'll, you'll accept it. You'll accept it. Mate, I, I will definitely thank God for such an opportunity. I love that people are calling his performance Denzelian. Uh, <laughs> I saw it trended on Twitter. Yes. I was like, what? John, John and Denzel is trending, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that, I missed that bit. That's hilarious. <laughs> the VA stole my disability check from me. I've had some problems with veteran affairs myself. How about you release one of those ladies? No. I need everybody to see what's happening here. Military veteran care has been in the news a lot uh, recently is that, that we saw the Senate kind of dragging their feet on passing the pact bill. We saw John Stewart out there very openly, very publicly fighting for it. Do you guys see this movie as a plea in any way that we need to take better care of our veterans? Very much so. And also beyond that, my, I, my dad's been waiting in those same lines for a, a, a long time. The same lines that veterans were in front of the White House a couple of weeks back all night sitting there with their candles, just praying that there'll be a breakthrough, that there'll be an opening, <sighs> that the bureaucracy will get out of the way and that the hearts of, of the matter and the words will match the actions. Um, I, I'm hopeful that 
watching our film will allow people to hear those pleas, not just let them go past their ears, but hear them, hear them in their soul. And that kind of hearing allows people to act. I think the timing is amazing. You know, I think the timing is amazing and I really hope it has an effect. I really do. I think it, it should have an effect and definitely to spark um, conversation, accurate conversation too, uh, would be something that's important and, and very positive for, for what's going on right now.